Today, every day, small cap investors visit Agoracom knowing this is the day to discover the world's next great company, to have their dreams come true. That's why I take to the open road, to find them, to tell their stories, to engage them, to bring them to life. Because they want to connect with you from your office, your phone, your home, anywhere. Agoracom, find your dream. Welcome to CEO Interviews, a production of Gorecom, in which we take time to speak with small cap executives about what's happening at their companies. With us today, I'm happy to have him back again, Peter Swistak, President and CEO of Vertical Exploration. The company trades on the TSX Venture Exchange under the stock symbol VERT, VERT, all nice and neat and tidy. Now, for those of you who are new to the story, and it's going to be a lot of you, Vertical's main product is Wolastonite. So the first thing you're probably asking yourself is, what the heck is Wolastonite? Well, Stay tuned because it's the white mineral that might very well be a savior to solving major issues for cannabis growers that are losing millions of dollars and become an organic source of fertilizer to farmers all over Quebec, Canada, and maybe even the rest of the world. More than just lip service, the company's already gone through some great independent testing. Uh, the first one was phase three testing in, B in BC that involved uh, cannabis grown with wolastonite significant improvements were reported there and in fact uh some samples were entered into an international growers competition where the product won first place at the kootenai cannabis cup so it's so it's it, uh, it definitely proved itself there and then just recently the company teamed up with agrinova that's a highly regarded center for research and innovation in agriculture in quebec and they had stunning results here to talk about that is peter peter welcome back good morning george Thank you for having me back. It's always a pleasure. It's always well, look, we're happy to have you back because you're potentially, your Wolastonite is potentially a game changer. On the other hand, most people haven't heard of Wolastonite. So before I get into the questions, give us a 30 second layman's explanation, 30, 45 second layman explanation. What is Wolastonite and why people should be paying attention to it? Wolastonite is the white mineral for the green world. Uh, basically, wolastonite is used in agriculture as well as industrial minerals also. Uh, it's a multi-purpose, it's an amazing uh, uh, help with the, with the agriculture side of the industry, it replaces, on the industrial side, it, it strengthens cement, uh, it repla replaces asbestos, it's used in brake pads, uh, ceramics, high quality paper. Uh, but for now, we are doing the agriculture side of it. This All right, but, and this is an organic, at the end of the day, organic yeah. fertilizer kind of material that significantly improves yeah. the growing yeah. conditions for various different crops. Absolutely. It's all organic. It, it will be used also, for example, when the forest fires. Uh, you just have the burnt out sections, you use wolastonite, bring back the pH levels and things of such of the ground, nutrients example, and start up a whole new process. So it can actually regenerate. Now so, normally, nor normally, Peter, I would say at this point, hey, this is just too good to be true. You're mm -hmm. just a CEO of a company that's you know trying to say everything you can to brag about. And I don't know if what you're telling me is 100% accurate, but here's, here's the difference. You've already went through successful testing in BC with BC Buds. Independent third party went through fa three phases. That was successful. Now you just finished off with Agrinova. So l let me ask you that question first. You're so successful in testing in BC. Uh, why why the, the, the testing with Agrinova as well in Quebec? What did you want to accomplish there? Absolutely. Agrinova is a well and highly respected agriculture and innovation in agriculture in Quebec. They have connections with the government. Uh, they oversee all the agriculture, cattle, and cat and animal feed in Quebec. Uh, actually, the farmers go to them to ask them questions, what to, could they use and what's the best in every circumstance. So we are very, very happy to be uh, with them. And we will continue to do research with them on other end users also. 
Well, let's talk about the results that came out because you've been working with them for a year. That's correct. Tell us about not 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 necessarily the numbers and the details, but and the and the, specific, and the and the specs. But how good was the result that that you guys that Agronova came up with? You know, how, how and how important is that to to vertical exploration? What what makes it very very important for vertical is because it has been proven it's an organic uh, fertilizer. It's also going to be a slow releasing fertilizer uh, that has multi purposes used for the agriculture side of it. Uh, even for, for myself, uh, when they had mentioned the maple syrup industry in Quebec, this could be beneficial for them. Uh, it's phenomenal uh, what they've actually brought to us and, and what's most important, nobody can dispute uh, uh, their results. Yeah, and that's why I said that earlier. Sometimes CEOs, you know, you expect them to say whatever they have to say optimistic not necessarily to be misleading but optimistic whereas you're backing up you know your wolastonite with actual third-party validation so with agronova are you certified now or registered under the fertilized act in quebec uh, and and in order to become a you know a manufacturer of, of product that's supplying the farmers and everybody this is certainly what what we can be at this time again we're also going to uh, do the permitting for the koi cell per, uh, permits, right? To get into the production. So, but basically, yes, this can be certified organic and certified as a slow uh, releasing fertilizer. What, what will it take to get to that stage? What's the last thing you have to do in order to get that certification? Well, basically it's just us telling them, okay, we want this done now. Could you give oh. us go through the steps? That's basically what it's done. Testing done, will, do, you, do you foresee the need for more testing with independent, you know, like we did with BC Buds in, in British uh, Columbia and Agronova no. here, or are you pretty much done that and you want to go into commercial stage? Now? Uh, absolutely, uh, we don't need to go into any other uh, testing as far as uh, on the agriculture side of it. Uh, we, we've established. Uh, and in our last press release, we, we gave the results from that, from Agrinova, what was going on. But basically, most importantly, we're not stopping the research and development because there's other areas of the industry that we're going to be using them to research it for their end users. For example, the, the oil industry. When, when they have to cap the wells, they use absorbents we will have that tested on that side to show the last night could be probably a better way of doing it from whatever they're using at this time because it's actually organic so when it's lying there in the cleanup and that but this is something that we are going to start testing yeah so product development is never going to stop but for right now you feel very comfortable in the agricultural and cannabis space so let me ask you a question when we first started talking about you on Agoracom, the emphasis was on the cannabis industry because that's where you did your first independent testing, get these rave results. You know, you won the Kootenay Cup there for best flower and all that. So here's my question. Is marijuana your number one target market or is it more the agriculture side now? Um, or are they both the same? You know, where, where do you put your emphasis and uh, focus now? Well, that, that's a great question. And, uh simple way of answering it is uh, the cannabis side is the agriculture side it's just a different plant sure sure I guess yeah and I guess when I'm you're right when I'm saying that I, I, I look at more traditional agriculture yeah. well, versus, well, so for us uh, the bonus of melasonite and what we're doing for the agriculture is to get the best crop you possibly can for the least problems that you possibly can and it certainly showed that in the cannabis industry, but it isn't an end all for us, uh, for the constant research, what we're doing and for uh, the agriculture side and, you know, such, uh, yeah, we've, we've touched just the top of it, but for the organic industry too, as for organic farming, well, you can imagine how many acres you would have to be using melastonite on. And if you're selling your product as organic, you certainly have to be organic. They're hundred percent. So you're, you're the great thing is you're meeting a market. You know, you're uh, you got a market that's skyrocketing because more and more people are growing. When I mean people, sorry, farmers, 
big yeah. farm companies are are dedicating more and more acres to organic, raising organic food, and they've got to go with someone like you at the end of the day. Well, exactly. Exactly. So, devil's advocate, though. Do you have enough elastinite to, okay, so everything's great. Testing is great on the cannabis side. Testing is great on the traditional agricultural side. So clearly the product, the efficacy is there. Do you have enough product in the ground? Do you have enough elastinite to, to be able to supply one or both of these industries for years to come? We're very, very comfortable. We do have enough. Profitability. Let's talk about that. Well, let's talk about next step for profitability. So you've got a massive resource. You've got a 431. It's 101. It's in the ground. What are next steps for you? When do you foresee yourself moving towards commercialization? Now? Well, right now, what we're doing, and plus what I have mentioned too, we actually have 11 tons already crushed and bagged uh, stored away. Wow. So, so here it goes on why I brought that up is because we certainly can give samples to those that desire it, you know, uh, for a nominal cost and things of, and shipping. And in the meantime, we are going to apply for the Koi permitting. All right. So, but that process would take conservatively three to four months. And then okay. virtually we could be into this Koi style production. And are you limited at all by the projects in Quebec? Does weather play a role whatsoever uh, when you get to the production side? Uh, no, not really, because we can have, because basically we can store it all. So uh, obviously there's some days that it could be uh, inconvenience, let's say on the weather side of it, uh, but the roads are there open 12 months a year on our ground. Uh, basically, you know, we just have to build shelters or whatever to store it and things of such. So, yeah, we're, I, I would say not in a great deal. Peter, what's incredible about this uh, interview is not only the information, but the great thing about video. And for people who are going to be listening to this on their podcast, just take my word for it. You are so confident. <laughs> you're relaxed. You're confident. Uh, it's, it's always scary how confident you are. So... What are next steps for everyone at home for you to get to that commercial stage? Uh, what What do you got to do? What do you got to do in order to start you know, pulling products out of the ground? And what do you think that roughly looks like timeline wise? I know you can't be precise, but you know, ballpark. What does it look like that you start taking product out and sell, selling it in bulk? Well, you know, it all bases down to us. You know, once we apply for the core uh, permitting, it, it would take three to four months. Right. We, now looking in the steps of getting some of the funding it needed for the Corey style production. How much funding do you require? Is that because some, some places require, oh, all we need is $150 million to begin the production and that's, that pretty much kills everything. Well, well, that's the beauty of it, George. We only need a million dollars. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. So three, four months for permitting in Quebec for Corey permitting all that and you got to raise a million dollars and you're telling me you're in business. So is it safe to assume we're, you know, we're June the fifth year. Mm -hmm. Safe to assume that by end of the year or, you know, first quarter of 2020, you'll be in production? That's, uh, I'd say that's pretty safe uh, uh, time frame, timeline on that. Uh, because this is what we want to have the funds in so we can ASAP fast track the project and make sure that we store, crush, and have enough product on hand. And uh, we expect uh, to carry on from there. Peter, thanks for joining us today. Uh, amazing interview. Congratulations on the third party validation. That to me, uh, uh, Agorcom members, viewers know that third party validation is critical. And you don't have just have one, you got two. You got BC Buds out in British Columbia. You got Agrinova in Quebec. You've even won a Kootenay Cannabis Cup, first place overall for best flower. So you've got the product. It seems to me you've got the product. I mean, uh, I can't guarantee it over as, as I'm watching this thing, but it seems like unless something's drastically wrong somewhere, you've got it. And I'm looking well, forward to seeing it. Somebody steals it in the meantime, millions and millions of tons, I guess. <laughs> we have it. Well, Peter, uh, you know, good luck to you the next, I'm assuming you're going to be applying for permitting and all that. Have you already started applying for permitting or is that something you're going to begin? We are preparing it from, because I mentioned we did an aggressive drill program back when, 
uh, basically a lot of canola that data will be used uh, uh, for the permitting there. Uh, we'll have all the answers for them before they ask the questions even. So we're Amazing. pleased and uh, yeah, that's that's our next milestone. Get the Koya style in, in uh, production here and take it from there and help all the farmers out there in agriculture. Peter, thanks for joining us. Amazing stuff. For everyone at home, you know, you've got great information. You've got the answer to that one question that we asked at the beginning of this interview, which was what the heck is will last tonight? You've got a pretty good idea of what it is. You've got a pretty good idea of what it does. You've got a pretty good idea of how beneficial it is and how needed it is, especially the organic side of farming. And vertical exploration has, has got it. And, uh, and third-party validation has confirmed it. So we're do your due diligence. Get to Agoracom. Punch in the company's name or stock symbol. Read the profile information. Rewatch this interview. Watch the last interview we did with Peter as well because the videos are on the site. And then, you know, after you've done your due diligence, ask questions on the Agoracom forum. Peter and his team will give you the answers. And, uh, and that's all. And, and then watch them, watch them, watch them, because clearly things are going to start happening here in the, in the, in the, for the second half of 2019. Thank you very much, George. Pleasure as always being back to you. Looking forward to having you back, Peter. Thanks for joining us, everyone at home. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.